What's up YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Hope all of you are doing good today. I'm going to do a quick video on uh, changing the oil on a Hustler Raptor SD with a Kawasaki FR691V on it. A 23 horsepower Kawasaki engine. Uh, as you just seen, I had the more running a little bit. I like to let it warm up uh, so the oil moves good. Uh, I'm going to show you all something I do a little different on this. This might help you out. Uh, if you got one of these or any of these Kawasaki engines, probably they come with a little black uh, drain hose. And the hose is not very long. And what happens is you have to have a very shallow pan to put up under the mower if you're going to let it set level in order to uh, drain it. And so what I've done, uh, i got a half inch garden hose, which is a little bit big on it, but it really doesn't have any pressure. Um, you can see this little green hose down in here. If you're familiar with this engine, you know it's got a spout here, a 10 millimeter nut over here that you loosen up uh, to let the oil drain. So I just cut me a hose long enough. Uh, it's probably, yeah, I mean, it may be two and a half feet, but I got it run all the way out the side and into my drain pan here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and loosen this up so we have some air coming in. And then we'll go ahead and I've already got this uh, nut broke loose. loosen that up and in just a minute here we should have some oil start coming out hopefully that's what we're going for there it goes right there there's our oil stream and it's just a little bit warm and again I said I, I start the engine just to warm it up it flows a lot better uh, if you're not familiar with this engine and you're doing it for the first time that's the spout for the hose right over here is that I don't really like this but it's plastic I think on my x1 it's metal but it's plastic you loosen it and uh, that releases the flow of oil out of the uh, engine block so we'll let this drain down and uh, once that's drained down we'll take this filter off and replace the filter and fill it back up with oil and uh, we'll clean out the air filter and all that too so I'll check back with you in just a minute you got you a long time down there. Huh? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to take this uh, filter off now. I put an old shirt down in here. Uh, once my shirts get to a certain stage, my wife doesn't think I should wear them anymore. So they end up out here in the what was the wood shops, now the moor shop, I guess. And I'm going to remind you of something very important when I take this off. Now, I know this is the same number. Um, as the one that I've got here, but I do want to show you something uh, anyway, once I figure out where I said it at. Okay, sitting in the fuel tank. Um, one of the things I do, and my daddy's here today, and he can testify to this. They will give you the wrong filter at a parts store, won't oh, they? Oh, yeah. He burned up a van one time. I shared with that, that with y'all when I changed in my X1, and it so happened that day they had gave me the wrong filter for my X1. But it was so much different that I couldn't even put it on if I wanted to. So one of the things I do is I set this on top of the old one to make sure that everything lines up. And uh, then the other thing that does is that gives me a little bit of a grease seal, you know, on the, on the top of that. I know it's uh, or oil seal, I should say. Um... So we're just going to take this put it back on. Uh, actually, before I put that on, I'm going to clean this off under here good. And pretty much the standard with the oil filter is hand tighten and a quarter turn. Uh, I just get it really, really hand tight, and that's all I ever do. I found that an oil filter, once you heat it up a time or two, and it will, uh, it will be harder to take off. It will be harder to take off than it was to put on for sure. Never had any trouble with any leaks around it. So anyway, I got that and it has finished draining. Now one of the things with this long hose is when you pull this hose off, 
you're obviously going to have some oil in the line. So I just kind of picked that up. Get you over here where you can maybe see me. I just picked that up and kind of let it drain in there. And if you got something around in the shop where you can kind of prop it up, and just let it sit there. You can see where I spill some in the floor over here, maybe. We'll get that cleaned up though. And now I did get a little bit of spill down here um, from where I pulled that hose off. And so just kind of let you see it right down in there. You can see a little bit of uh a little bit of oil down there. I'm going to clean that up good, get it all cleaned up, and uh, we'll be ready to put some more oil in it. I will tell you this, when you're tightening up, because that is a plastic uh, plug, oil drain plug, uh, 10 millimeter. I just take and just snug it back up. It's one of those things you just got to kind of feel. Uh, you don't want to over tighten it, I'm sure. Now I'm going to shoot some uh, mean green down in here, which is a degreaser, and uh, just kind of clean up the area where I've been working at. We'll get it cleaned up and then we're gonna put oil in it. All right, we're ready to fill it back up. Let's talk about oil for just a minute. Um, this is what I run. It is a Kawasaki. It is, uh, you know, suppo supposedly specially formulated for Kawasaki engines. I know uh, I went to London Landscape Society event uh, last uh, earlier this year in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Uh, Kohler sponsored that. Uh, company's doing a tremendous job. Uh, I got a Kawasaki because it's what come on it. If you want to know what the best uh, mow, uh, engine for your mower is, it's the one that's on it uh, because that's the one that makes you money. Now, if you want to go out and buy something new, that's fine. Do that too. I do appreciate what Kohler's done in order to try to bring the community together, and that would weigh on my decision process, I'm sure, in the future. But... Uh, anyway, if I were running a Kohler, I would use their oil. I'm running a Kawasaki. I'm going to use their oil. Um, you know, it probably costs a little bit more. Uh, don't go to AutoZone and pick up engine oil. Okay, these are, especially for these, these are air-cooled air engines. Uh, they get hot. Uh, they need the additives for that. So, uh, this engine takes roughly two quarts, uh, usually. Uh, I put one in it, and then I put about three quarters of another one in it, and then I check it, you know, crank it up, let it run, fill the filter up, uh, check it real quick. Uh, you can't really put oil in this filter and then put the filter on because of the way it's mounted to the engine. Uh, if it was from the bottom, I would probably go ahead and fill it up with oil and screw it on, or at least get it three quarter full, but uh, that's kind of hard to do on this particular engine. so. I know some of you are running the Vanguards that you change once a season. It holds about five quarts, which is a really good deal, uh, you know. But the uh, that's a pretty neat system. But but anyway, uh, like I said, I put one and three quarters of these in, and then I put the little dipstick back in. I'll crank it up, let it run a few minutes, let it get warm. I'll turn it back off, let the oil settle down a little bit, and then I'll check it. And it usually ends up right at two quarts, uh, but it's not quite two quarts on this 23 horsepower Kawasaki, the FR691V. And again, this is going to be pr pretty much the same. Any uh, brand that runs, it doesn't have to be Hustler, uh, but any company that runs this particular engine uh, on their equipment. So we'll put that back on. And... We'll fire it up, let it run. Uh, a couple of things that we're going to be doing when we crank it back up and let it warm up. We're going to be checking to make sure no oil is coming out uh, where the drain is and also that none is coming out around this filter area.
All right, uh, just got through running it a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna actually let the oil settle back down. What I typically do while I'm doing that is I go ahead and take uh, this air filter out. And every so often, and I don't know how often, I'll change this. Uh, this is obviously uh, one of those things that uh, you don't want, you don't want uh, dirt in. I'm going to blow this out, probably be loud. The compressor comes on, you won't be able to hear anything but it. Well, you can see I'm holding my hand over this because I don't want to get a bunch of trash up in there. Then I'll take this out and uh, I'm going to take it out. I'm just going to blow it out kind of like that. You see all that, see all that nasty dirt? Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna shut you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut you off because uh, that compressor will be on in a minute, and you won't be able uh, to hear anything anyway. All right, we let everything settle down. I've already checked it. I already know what it's gonna look like, but I figured I would show y'all. See if I can get it here where you can see. It is only about to right here, and the fill line is here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and dump just a little more in it. Make sure it's popped all the way off. Won't take much. I probably got. You know, if I can get some light here. Yeah, I probably was about four ounces short of getting one and three quarters. So. I'm going to get a little more in it and put about half of what I got left in there. You also don't want to get too much. So that's about half. I had 12 ounces left. I put about six of those in. Uh, I will check it again in a few minutes. But uh, And if it's, not, if it's not enough, we'll put some more. But it should be fine now based on what I've been doing. I will tell you this. If you don't do anything else, if you don't check to see how much fuel you got in the mower, that's okay because it'll run out and you'll have to put some in it. Always check your oil. That's the life of a machine right there. That, keep that air filter clean. Uh, you know, it makes a difference. So. Anyway, uh, that does it for this. We got everything back together. And uh, hopefully, I got to do some cleaning up, my oil pan and all that, and uh, some cleaning up to the mower too. But uh, I'm not going to share all that with you. As I mentioned in my last video, this thing's got 209.5 hours on it. Been changing the oil in it every 50. I think the manufacturer recommends 100, but uh, you know, all the stuff you need to change oil is $20 or less. So I think it's I think it helps to keep good clean oil in it. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed the video, drop me a comment, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you. You might see all of your blessings as from Him. Y'all have a great day.